Humanity, the quality of being humane, has been put to the test in so many ways since September 11th. Detail, present, Holmes. This week, as the recovery and cleanup effort at Ground Zero came to an end, we sat down with a photographer whose specialty is not war or tragedy, his specialty is faces. It started when he was young. This was his first award-winning photograph when he was 17, a boy at a baseball game. Then it was on to New York, where he specialized in headshots for young actors and actresses. That's his self-portrait. And then American Airlines Flight 11 hit the North Tower. He ran up to the roof of his apartment building, 25 blocks away, and shot this picture. Eventually, he moved closer, suffered lung problems from the polluted air near the site, but kept moving closer and closer until he could focus on his specialty, faces. His name is Gary Susan. These are his words and the moments he captured at Ground Zero. This is his memorial to humanity. I began chronicling uh, the early days of Ground Zero in, in September because artists can't go down in the hole and dig. Artists do what they do best. They contribute through their emotional talents. And so like any other artist, um, I wanted to contribute. I just wanted to tell the story of 911, but at the same time, uh, I was extremely uh, upset. I was really, I was very distraught. And so I kind of buried myself in the camera, and it was a nice place to hide for a while, you know, to, uh, to try and uh, disappear. I've been shooting photography since age 13. I, originally, what I loved, what I loved shooting were people. I loved capturing emotion in people. And I got down into that hole. It was like a hotbed of human emotion, pain, brotherhood, togetherness, and people working together uh, with a common goal to bring people home. I respect the firemen more than they'll ever know. Um, imagine going down there every day and raking through the mud and the dirt, looking for any sign of your loved one. Uh, New York City firemen showed up uh, at Ground Zero, and uh, it just so happened that his son-in-law is a New York City police officer, and he, he approached the, uh, his son-in-law, and he said, um, are they making any recoveries today? His son-in-law said, actually, I think we have your, your, your son. And then he marched his son out along with his son-in-law. So it was a very emotional moment. What's great about these guys, the, 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 the police and the, uh, the firemen, is they never forget. They never forget where they are. And they're very gentle and sensitive to what they're doing. It was uh, early morning, about 7 in the morning, and I saw Chief Ritchie's uh, standing on a ridge overlooking Ground Zero. And I knew that, obviously, he, you know, he was looking for his son. The irony to this photograph is that three weeks after this photograph, they found his son, and they found his son directly underneath where he's standing in the photograph. This is uh, the honor guard. That's where the fireman is. Uh, uh, covered in a flag and marched out by uh, their brothers from the fire department. And they allowed me to walk with them, so it was very special for me. When I saw some of the things down there, I would go home at night and I'd cry. A lot of the things that made me cry are in these images. And so I tried to shoot them in the most tasteful, respectable way. But I shot them in the way that got to my heart. And if it got to my heart, Odds are we'll get to other people's heart. If you can't connect, you can't heal. And so I'm hoping that these images will, will, will serve, that, serve that purpose.